My, 21F, ravenous roommate, 28M, keeps eating all my food. What do I do? I have known my roommate Daniel for about two months prior to living with him. He is my boyfriend's, 25M, friend. Daniel, my boyfriend, and I all live together. We have our own room and washroom so we don't share. We have been living together for approximately two months so I'm still getting used to him. Daniel has been getting on my nerves. He's been eating food I bought and eats the whole container without leaving anything behind. I work in the food industry and went to culinary school. I naturally like to cook dinner every day. I prefer eating home cooked meals opposed to eating outside every day. I used to cook dinner every night since I moved in. I like to feed my BF well since he doesn't eat yummy food often. He can't cook well. I don't mind paying for my BF food or cooking it every day. He does a lot for me in return. I proceed to cook dinner for my BF and his friend because it would be weird to leave him out. I cook hot pot, stews, half taco night, camayan, buffet style Filipino food, and more. These meals are usually for groups of people so we don't mind him eating food I cook for these scenarios. One day I'm planning to cook poke bowls for just my BF and I for dinner. We were home alone. I saved the leftover ingredients to make myself dinner after work the next day. I come home and he eats an entire jar of kimchi I bought the day before. I found out because when I tried to make my poke bowl the kimchi wasn't there. That jar of kimchi could last me a week maybe two. I told my BF him upset that he ate the kimchi and didn't save any for me when I paid for all the groceries. Thing to know Note, Danielle is always splitting everything when it comes to sharing stuff. Internet, garbage bags, and a stand he bought for a TV my BF and I didn't ask for. I asked Daniel if he ate all the kimchi he said yes I'm sorry. Told him to get a new one. My boyfriend bought a box of blueberries a couple days ago to make me a fruit bowl for breakfast before work since I forget to eat breakfast all the time. The next morning we wake up and my BF asks me where I put the blueberries. There was no blueberries in the fridge. We were both working the day before so Daniel ate them all. Daniel is always home because of the pandemic he has passive income so he doesn't need to work. We told him about the blueberries and he said he'll buy some. I'm annoyed that he keeps eating my groceries without permission. I have talked about it to him before but he doesn't get it. I genuinely want to leave this place but it will be weird for my BF. We also have a lease together her so we have to wait till it ends. He also locked my puppy in her crate while my BF and I were at work. I work long hours 8 to 12 hour shifts she peed her bed and he lied about locking her up. My dog never pees her bed. I now work less days because of this. I realized that he may have a mental illness I'm not aware of. Says really offensive things as well and he doesn't even seem bothered or hesitant about saying it. Anyways anything I can do to help him better understand? Edit, thanks for all the responses. I appreciate it. Going to talk to him today. Set boundaries, write my name on things he can't touch and ask him to pay for groceries if he does end up eating it. He's not as bad as he sounds on here. More like clueless to why it bothers me. Ended paying me back and getting me more kimchi. Edit, regarding my puppy who is 9 months. I understand I am not the best owner. I had pets before, however, not a dog. I got her thinking I would have time during the pandemic to train her but I was wrong. I used to work 5 hour shifts at my job before covid and I used to live with my parents. So I would still have time to take care of my dog and someone was always home. While the pandemic started my chef was opening a new location and the pop up he opened during the pandemic. I was recruited to help her finish creating the menu and finalizing everything. I ended working long hours to help train and open these businesses. Businesses. I moved out because I live in a toxic household and Daniel asked me to come live with them because it would be good and I can help pay rent. It's expensive where we live. It is also close to work so I agreed. Told Daniel prior to moving in I am working long hours. No one will be able to watch my dog until my BF comes home Daniel said he was okay with it. My BF only works 3 days and only 1 day out of the week my dog is alone for 4-5 to five hours max. My dog is potty trained and we have a pee pad in our washroom. We walk her at least twice a day and bring her to the dog park three times a week even though we are busy. I already notified my employer that I needed less hours, 
However, it was hard to find someone to replace me. I still needed to train them before I worked less. They finally let me because of my situation. I have learned my lesson to not get a pet again unless I have more time. I live a busy life and I try everything to make it work out for the well-being on my dog. My dog has become so much better after moving out so I am on the right path. Honestly, as annoying as it is, I'd start writing your name on your food. It's the only thing that kept my brother from eating all of my groceries. Otherwise, maybe a mini fridge in your room would be a good alternative. I agree with folks saying this is the type of person that you give an inch and they'll take a mile. You have to cut him off. Unless he is explicitly invited, he should not eat your food, also you say he's always splitting stuff, oh like bills that he is required to pay his share of, this doesn't give him a pass. Also, it's not weird to cook meals for just you and your bf Daniel isn't your bf and shouldn't expect that, you're not his mom, you're not his personal chef. It sounds like you're hardly his friend either. Be clear and direct with him. Label your food, compartmentalize it all in the fridge in one place, all your stuff on one side, anything he buys on the other so there can be no excuse of oh I thought this was mine, call him out every time until he learns. But in the meantime, start looking for a new place to live once your lease is up. Preferably a one bedroom. He gets it. He just doesn't care. I'd be exploring creative options to not have to live with him anymore. I would personally talk to Daniel and tell him to not eat your food, since you pay for it and you buy it. You don't mind cooking for him from time to time but that doesn't mean that he can eat everything without at the very least asking first. I think what he's doing is inconsiderate, especially since you offer him food when you cook dinner for your boyfriend. As another commenter said, write your name on the food and enforce your boundaries. If he keeps eating stuff, make him pay for it. BTW, what you are cooking sounds amazing. force him to replace the food. Everyone is talking about passive steps that won't work. Unfortunately, this means you can never share food with him again, because he'll go back to doing it. My roommate still gets offended when he asks for a banana and I say no. But I know from the past he'll eat more than one if I say yes. My, 19F, sister, 21F, and mom, 50SF, say my facial expressions make my sister feel like a bad person. Edit, update here. First post and long time lurker so the title is weird but I need some genuine advice. Also this is going to get long, sorry. Too long didn't read, my mom and sister claim that my facial expressions and body language set my sister off and that's why she lashes out at me but I can't change it and I don't know how to get them both to understand how much the things they say hurt. Growing up me, Almost 19F, and my sister, 21F, had a terrible relationship. Our parents got divorced when I was 4 and we didn't see our dad much so it was just the three of us. I've always felt that my sister was very much the favorite and that she was more important to our mom and when I was younger I hated that so I kind of put distance between us for that. We both had issues in high school that resulted in therapy, we both had anxiety, depression and different forms of EDS, although my depression was worst, and she was briefly hospitalized due to a mood disorder, but she's been done with her medication for 4-5 to five years, I've been under therapy and medication since I was 14, and I've now been sent for ADHD testing since my therapist is pretty sure I have a strong case but can't diagnose me. She stopped therapy once she moved out for college, but has started again in the last couple weeks. My sister has always been pretty successful despite her struggles. She has plenty of friends, always kept things very clean in her spaces, graduated high school with good grades, worked part-time since she was 15, got into a great out-of-state college, has held down multiple jobs since then and is overall doing great for herself. On the other hand, almost flunked out of HS multiple times, struggle heavily with cleanliness, has never had a job since I've had progressively worst pain in my spine and legs since I was 14 due to disc injury. It's genetic and I'm currently getting treatment DW, and I'm currently part time in community college since it was the only one I could get in. To highlight how differently we're treated, my mom pays my sister's rent, 
car payments, it's a second-hand car from family, her bills including food and gas, and gives her a weekly allowance of I think $100, on top of whatever money she gets from her job, our dad pays part of her tuition and she did talk a small loan out but I don't know about the payment of that, since she's still in school I don't think she pays anything on it, I on the other hand do not get any allowance since my room isn't clean and I often forget to clean the cat's litter, I do however cook almost every meal we eat since I'm a very good cook and my mom isn't, I'm also cannot work because of my health issues, when I graduated HS my mom said I either had to start online classes or she would charge me rent, so I had no choice but to start online classes and my mental health is suffering. She didn't need the money financially, she's a senior manager at a tech company and has been working remotely and has actually gotten a raise and bonuses since quarantine began. Anyways the main part of all this started after Thanksgiving. My sister moved out of state for college but because of some issues she's been having and high covid rates in her state she and my mom decided she would start coming back and forth till all of this is over. So now now she's going to be coming back home for a month then going back to school for a month. And ever since she's been home the tension and fighting is just getting worse, but it seems like every single fight my mum only backs her up. For example, she has a terrible habit of leaving curling irons and hair straighteners plugged in and on in our shared bathroom. One day I went in and found them like that five separate times, I've asked my mom repeatedly to tell her to stop doing that, especially since the bathroom is right next to my room and if a fire starts he'll be the one hurt first but it still keeps happening. So earlier today when I went in and found a curler and a straightener like that while she was in her room talking on the phone, I unplugged them and decided I would ask my sister directly. Well when I did she immediately said it wasn't a big deal cause they had an auto off. True but that usually is after 30 to 45 minutes and that's plenty of time for a fire, and that she was about to use it but she had to do a work call, she works at her school's radio station but it's all online, so she decided to just leave it. Told her I understood that but it's a massive fire hazard and it gives me a lot of anxiety and she just brushed it off then told me to not talk to her like I was in the future because my tone and facial expressions make her feel guilty and bad about herself. Another fight was after I bleach dyed her hair for her right after Thanksgiving she agreed to buy something online for me as payment but she just now ordered it, three months later. She told me just before Christmas that she had, but when I asked about her about it she lied and said that she hadn't been able to because it was out of stock. Not true I checked the website history, and she still hasn't owned up to the lie, and she got mad at me for asking by saying whatever happened to it since it felt like I was accusing her of something. She only finally ordered it after I proved it was in stock. My mom talked to her about it, and I refused to help bleach her hair and her friends unless she paid for it. For anyone wondering it was originally on sale for $17 but the full price was only $25, so she had the money for it the whole time. The worst fight in all this was when we went out to see our dad. Now to be fair during this I was detoxing from 4 years of taking Prozac so I was kind of emotionally unstable but still it was bad. We don't see our dad often, he lives about an hour away with our stepmom, so about 3 weeks ago we decided to meet him somewhere outside for lunch. Covid levels here are low so we can eat outside, and he called us to figure out where to go. He suggested one place that I really don't like even though we've only been a few times when I was in middle school. I don't know why, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. And she started to say yes when I said I didn't like that place and I didn't even want pizza. My dad suggested a place nearby but my sister blew up at me, saying I was being selfish that I didn't have to ruin things for everyone when others want something and how I'm always like this and I ruin things for everyone all the time and how I'm a burden and how I did the same thing and ruined her graduation dinner in high school. I just kind of shut down mentally and stood there crying and my mom came down but when she brought up high school I said really, are you serious? My mom told me to stop yelling, and I told my sister that I wasn't going to be her punching bag while running upstairs to my room crying, and my sister sister yelled back that she wasn't going to be mine. I went back to my room and stayed there crying while my sister went and met our dad for lunch. Later my mom came in and defended her, saying that I needed to be aware that my facial expressions and body language and tone is what sets her off 
that it makes her feel guilty and like a terrible person and that's why she lashed out at me so it's on me to change that. Next day I apologized to my sister for yelling, telling her about my meds but she didn't really say sorry, just said she said what she said cause my body language set her off. There's also plenty of other fights we've had over other stuff, like her cleaning the bathroom and food and all this stuff, but these are the major ones that I remember. It's come to a point where I'm too nervous to even ask her to do anything, because I know she's going to yell at me for how I ask, so I have to go through my mom but then that means nothing gets done cause my sister blames any sort of mess or issue on me and my mom believes her and I physically cannot clean right now. It just feels like every time we have an issue, that's what it boils down to. My facial expressions and body language and the way I talk make her feel guilty, bad about herself, like I hate her, that she's a terrible person and that's why she lashes out at me the way she does. For what it's worth, I don't hate her. I hate the way she acts, and I hate that she won't take responsibility for her actions, but I do love her. We had it tough growing up, our mom is very manipulative emotionally and she really wasn't there for us where it counted, and we both had a lot of issues in school so I know things are hard on her. But I cannot change my face or body. My posture is messed up because of my spine injury, it's mainly genetic but it caused my whole spine to warp and I physically cannot stand different right now, and my jaw is extremely messed up, one side is significantly longer and thicker to the point that it messes with the nerves so I have a hard time moving the muscles in my face. So I just really need advice on how to get through to them that I cannot change these things about myself, and that the way they treat me hurts. I want a good relationship with my mom and sister, but I can't keep going on like this. Thanks. I don't know how to positively respond to my sister's new outlook on life. My, 24F, sister, 36F, has been single since college. We grew up in a Christian household and she has decided to remain a virgin until she's married. I am one of six kids and so far she is the only one to follow through on that commitment and the only one to hold on to the religion we grew up with. Today at a family event she told us she has decided to never have children. This came as a shock because she has always loved kids and has told us for years she wants to be a mom. I don't know how my siblings feel, but I personally think my sister has given up on having children because of her age and the fact she hasn't dated someone for over a decade. My whole family is worried about her and she has told me multiple times that she spends her free time crying. I think she's depressed because of her life and where she's ended up. She was laid off right before Christmas due to nepotism and being late to work, she is the kind of person that is always late. I honestly think she's unhappy. She has been overweight since college. Her freshman 15 ended up being a freshman 70. Her friends are all single women and she complains about them regularly. I guess what I'm asking is how to encourage someone in her situation. I've been with my boyfriend for 5 years and we plan to get engaged this year. I constantly feel like I can't talk to her about my relationship because she's alone and unhappy. My other sister is engaged. My second oldest sister has been married for almost 8 years, and my younger sister has been dating someone for the last 2 and a half years. My brother, the youngest, 19 meters, is working a full-time job and is completely content to work on himself right now. What do you say to someone in this position? How do you encourage them to not give up? I don't want her to be alone and unhappy for the rest of her life. We're all really worried she will never find someone. She's clearly unhappy being single. Edit, I'm seeing a lot of comments claiming that my sister doesn't feel happy being child-free because we're Christian and all that. That's not what's happening here. My parents and this particular sister are the only ones in my immediate family who practice that religion at this point. Being child-free is not concerning, the fact that my sister has expressed her desire to have a husband and kids for the past two decades and all of a sudden has given up on that dream of hers is what's concerning. I see a lot of people projecting their own feelings onto my sister and it's kind of ridiculous. Calm down, 